Hi and welcome to Python Bouncing Ball Game. That's the name of the game right there. So what I would is just to run this game and you guys see how it works. Let me save it first. Uh, let's see ball. So let's uh, get rid of that. Now run the save and run the game again. There we go. So that's the bouncing ball game, and this is how it works. Seem, my seems a little bit slow right now, so let's just close that and uh, let's run it again. There we go. Yep. You see, it's just like one of those games that I created in. Uh, uh, sorry, in game maker. So I was hitting the ball with my with my party right there. Yeah, there we go. It's not that fast because this is how I've set it. Because uh, if I set it to be very fast, I have to make sure I get it all right while I am playing the game. Okay. So the next thing is, let me just show you guys how I've uh, put together this very code. All right, this is it right here. That's the code. I'm not gonna go into it. I'll just show you about the code, and I just move move on from there. Right from here, I've imported the TK here, and now I've uh, imported random function, time function. And here is my class, and that is my also initialize it there. Okay, come uh, self, so which means the canvas, the party, and the color they will all be under on the game itself. And here are the that's the canvas there, that's the oval shape that you guys saw earlier on. As the size, you can always increase the size of the oval shape there, and so on. So, if I scroll down, let me just scroll down. And the pad right there, and I hit the ball. Let's take it down a little bit. Last party. Uh, where is it? There we go. Yeah, that that is it right there. That's when I press the left arrow, right arrow, and uh, and this is for the speed of the arrow right there. That is the heading right there, and that's the color of the patio. The color of the ball is gray. So, and here we have the speed right here. Let me just try and bring this up for you to see. Uh, let's take it up a little bit better. That's much better, in case you can see that. So, let me just run it one more time. You see it again. Like I said, I would not be spending much time on this. And that is it right there. Oh dear. Okay? You guys can do something very similar to that. You've all seen the code right now. That is the code right there. Okay? I'll pass it to sleep here. If I decide to just increase that, I'll reduce it to 1. You see what will happen. Let's say I save it now and run the game. You see what will happen. Can you see the speed of the ball? The ball sort of like increases in speed because it doesn't sleep for that long no more. Okay. So that means you have to be very fast when you play the game. So that's what you get. So now I'm just going to call it a day right now. Just, just before I go. Let me just scroll up and down for you guys to see the code one more time. There are the codes. If 
those are the codes used in developing the bouncing ball game so if you want to do something similar that will be cool by me so I'm just going to call it a day for now and you all have a nice day bye for now